In Wednesday's video, I mentioned a little GML function called GPU set color right enable, and after letting it keep me up for a few days, I decided that I'd talk a little bit more about it. So what it does is it let, allows you to turn off uh, the color writing of individual color channels when you draw something to the screen. Uh, the function is, is GPU again set color right enable with or without the U. And it takes, uh, it, well, it can take two separate types of arguments. One is simply a um, four arguments, one for red, uh, one for green, one for blue, and one for alpha. Uh, in Wednesday's video, I did mention GPU set color right enable in the context of turning off alpha writing uh, as a way to resolve issues with alpha and surfaces. And you can call this function when you draw something just like any other GPU control function. And uh, when, you're, uh, when you're done, drawing whatever you want to draw with your special color settings, it's generally a good idea to set it back to, uh, to its original state when you're finished. So I mentioned turning off and on alpha when you draw something uh, using this function, and that is often used to resolve issues with alpha and surfaces, but you can also use it to turn on or off individual color channels. Uh, so if, for example, we want to disable the color red when we draw something, we can run our little demo and see that our little rainbow spectrum has been replaced by this. And this is the sprite that we had before, but it, this is uh, without the red color. If you were to open this image up in Photoshop and drop the, uh, the red color curve all the way to zero, you would see something that looks very similar. And if you want to uh, do other things with this, let's say we can also disable the blue color channel. Uh, this will leave us with just an image that only contains green. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, this will cause us to only draw a single color channel that's contained in an, in an image. Now, from looking at this example here, you would be forgiven for thinking that GPU set color right enable simply sets the value of each of the uh, color channels in question to zero. So, for example, you might think that the color yellow, which is 100% red, 100% green, if you set the um, if you disable the red color channel, uh, the the red channel will be set to zero, and you'll be left with simply 100% green. And that is not what's happening. This will actually prevent the, uh, the byte from being actually written to the render target. That's why this is a sometimes useful function to use when you want to resolve issues with surfaces in alpha because it will simply skip uh, writing the alpha, like changing the alpha on a surface if the alpha of a surface has been uh, cleared to 100%. And if I were to, instead of clearing the screen to black, if I were to clear the screen instead to C underscore uh, white, you can see that we have a somewhat different output. So the only color that we're writing to the, uh, to the surface, the only color that we're writing to the screen is green. The color that's already at the destination is white, so we'll call that 100%, 100%, 100%. If we think about what's going on with the color red up here, uh, there is the color red was at the, uh, the top of the sprite. Right, I guess I can just hover over that now. And Feather will preview it for me, which is very nice. Red is 100% red, zero green, zero blue. And again, the only color channel that we're actually writing to the render target right now is green, which is currently zero. So the 100%, uh, 100%, the 100%, 100% that was already there is going to simply have the green byte set, and that's going to turn into 100%, zero, 100%. And the result of that is this very lovely magenta color. Said nobody ever. Let's see, for one last test, if I were to, uh, to comment out the draw clear, um, the, uh, the room one simply has a little checker pattern in the background. And if I were to draw, um, if I were to draw the gradient sprite over that, what's it going to look like? Okay, uh, this looks pretty similar to what we had before because the background is already pretty light colored. The checker background is pretty light colored, but you can see a little bit of the gr uh, you can see a little bit of the green shining through in the the green band on the gradient sprite. Anyway, so there's another set of arguments that GPU set color right enable can take, and that is actually an array of values. So you could pass an array to this function. Uh, we can say var array. I'll give it a better name. Var color array is going to equal. Uh, and this is going to be an array of four values. And each of the four values is going to correspond to one of the color channels. And if you guess that the values are going to be a Boolean true or false, then uh, congratulations. Anyway, we can uh, selectively enable or disable certain color channels this way. So if I were to enable, let's say, red, uh, let's enable green, uh, let's disable blue, and it's not going to make a difference in this example, but I guess we can also enable um, alpha. And if I were to pass in the color array to the GPU set color right enable function instead, uh, this will also work. And now we have the, uh, the red and 
the uh, the green channel is being written, and we uh, we simply don't have any blue. And again, the fact that we have a blue band in the middle of this gradient uh, might be somewhat surprising, given that we did disable writing the blue color. But um, if you work through the, uh, the source and the destination colors by hand, uh, and you realize that the background color uh, also contains white, which is which does contain blue, and the um, once again the blue value is never being set, starts to make a little bit more sense. Uh, cayenne like this also contains blue. Magenta also contains blue. Anyway. Uh, let's see. There's also, and this is true for a lot of the GPU state functions, uh, a companion function, GPU get color right enable. And this is a function which will take no arguments, but it will return a value. And uh, the value is going to be an array of four elements uh, like this. GPU get color right enable is going to uh, return the current state of which color channels are enabled if I were to. Um, Let's say show debug message GPU get color right enable. Uh, we would see that this is going to return four values. It is going to return a one, one, zero, and one because uh, at least at the current moment, when you stringify a boolean, it just turns into a one and a, and a zero, and it doesn't turn into a true and false, which is a little annoying. Anyway, you can see that's what we're getting in the console. So, let's see. There's not much else to this function. Uh, this GPU set color right enable is a pretty obscure function in GameMaker. Pretty much all the time I've ever used it myself is when I want to uh, deal with output on surfaces, as explained in the last video. Um, I imagine that it can come in handy if you want to draw things with a particular, a particular mask. So if you want to mask out certain color values, you could use this function to do that. If you've got any other creative uses for this, by all means, let me know in the comments. I am curious to see um, what strange effects that people might have achieved using this function, because I feel like there's uh, there's uses for it that I simply haven't thought of yet. But uh, otherwise, that's going to do it for me for now. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post some number of Game Maker videos a week. Uh, my schedule has been a little bit out of whack recently, but I usually aim for two. If you want to contribute to the channel, links to a Patreon can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I hope you found this interesting, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, KeyXE, Sindra Larson, Square Crow, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end like this, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.